As my dad dropped us off at the airport to go to Costa Rica, he gave us a challenge to find and document 60 species while we were in Costa Rica. Now, he didn't give us a lot of specific rules, but these are the rules I set for myself. We had to actually get an image of the animal, so we couldn't just hear it or see evidence of it. We had to capture it in some way. This rule turned out to be kind of a bummer because we heard a bellbird all day in Monteverde and we could not find it for anything. Oh, there it was. And it could not be a domesticated animal, even if it was acting wild. We were in Costa Rica for a total of five weeks, and we spotted all of these in either the mountainous region around Monteverde and Arinal, Guanacaste province near Tamarindo and Playa Negra, or down in Dominical. We see it on naked eyes. Naked eyes. One of the animals was a uh, spike. Yes. That is a lie. Wow. It's like a shell. <laughs> See, he just moves his tail. People call him wolf spider. Wolf spider. A wolf spider. This one over here, amigos, is called the Laysan's Magma. Broad wings are going to it around here. Broad wings yeah, okay. Many, many things. Wow. What are you guys eating? See that hummingbird? Mm -hmm. Good one. <gasps> They're not even the same kind. Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. 
is the national bird of Guatemala. No, we didn't see the jaguarundi in the wild, but I had to include it on the list because I genuinely thought, until I saw it in person, that it was a mythical creature along the lines of a chupacabra. <laughs> If you've had any amazing wildlife encounters in Costa Rica or anywhere else in Central America, tell us about it in the comments. I would love to hear it. And if you're a naturalist and you see that I've labeled something wrong, please let me know. I am just learning, and some of these were really tough to place. Challenge accepted. Challenge complete.